Wageningen University is working with growers to reduce their energy consumption. Leo Marcellus is largely credited for the widespread use of LED lights in Dutch greenhouses. Without light, there is no plant growth. Custom LED light recipes have helped farmers grow strawberries, cucumber, and asparagus faster. His research on these lights got glass houses in the country to cut their power usage by nearly half. And now, Leo and his team are seeing if they can take it further. Now he's studying how LED light color, intensity, and timing can influence growth and lower energy bills. And here we are doing this an experimental setup where we are growing lettuce with different light. In this lettuce trial, his team figured out that by increasing the light intensity in the final week before harvest, they can raise vitamin C and sugar content and extend shelf life. What gives a good growth? What gives a good taste? What gives a good nutritional value? But also, what is most sustainable in terms of less use of energy? And usually that can be a, a balancing act. In another room, his team is working with the Singapore Food Agency on bok choy. Here I can choose any condition. If I give them low light and a low temperature, they will grow slowly. By adjusting temperature, CO2 and light, they can speed up plant growth. Many of these testing rooms are pink because red LED lights are better for growing plants. But it has to be the perfect balance of red, blue and white light. For example, this bok choy likes a little more white light. If it is only red, most plants don't like that.